Okay, so we're up $5,500 today in the account as the market's up 0.5 for the Dow, 1.45 for the NASDAQ, and 0.74 for the S&P. We're up 0.95, so we're beating the Dow and the S&P. The NASDAQ is beating us, but... And if we can be just in between the S&P and the NASDAQ, well, then that's perfect, I think. So we're scrolling down the list of all of our holdings. What do we have? We have Fango up 10. That's what's sticking out to me. All right, all of our shorts are down. Those are only small amounts of money there. So I don't. that's what's supposed to happen. As our shorts are down, then our longs should be killing it. And that's what's happening. As the shorts are down, the longs are up. But also we have a dilemma here. Tesla, once again, Fango's up. I get, okay. Fangu, 10%. You know, we're up 10% in the name in the triple ETF. So we have $3,000 in that. And I want to do something with that. Um, it takes up 3000 It takes up margin. It's 100% maintenance, Fangu. As you can see here in the, in the margin tab, you have to live by these maintenance ec uh, excess um, numbers. So let's look at Fangu. All right, Fangu is 100% maintenance. You see this? Because it's perceived as risky, whereas Tesla is 40% maintenance. So for every 1,000 we put in Tesla, we have $600 left to play with elsewhere and get more dividends elsewhere. For every 1,000 we put in Fangu, 1,000 is taken up. So does Fangu have room to run on the chart? Yes, um, but it is up huge from the lows so is tesla tesla was at 100 now it's at 170 so it's at almost um it's at it's had a 70 percent gain in, a, in a less than a month tesla and fangu has followed suit okay see fangu has it has 10 holdings in it one of them is tesla um so i was thinking about selling a thousand fangu and rebalancing that names and raising a thousand in equity in the process because it's 100 percent maintenance and that'll take our available withdrawal from 107, basically basically 108 to 109. And every thousand counts because with that thousand, I can use, I can get four times that and put a thousand in, let's say CLM, GOF, RIV, and OP, and get 4,000 back in dividends. So 4,000 times 20% yield, that's about $800. So I can get 800 more back in yield if I just sell this Fangu, a piece of this Fangu. So Let's do this. Let's sell 1,000 Fangu. It's already pulling back, so I need to hurry. So we're going to sell about 10 shares. Um, we'll do 11. Okay, sell 11. 800. Let's go ahead and make it 9. Make it worthwhile. Uh, 12. So 900. Sell 900. Fangu, place. All right, so... We raised 900 in equity by doing that, okay? And I still want Tesla. So how do we play Tesla? Okay, so we took $300 in profit there, as you can see, from, from Fangu, $300. And we raised 109. So now we're up 500 in this Tesla option, 60%, okay? I'm going to roll this from call, tough call. I'd rather even do the ARC funds. Because ARC funds have a lot of exposure um, in Tesla. See if we go to ARC funds. ARKK. This is the Kathy Woods fund. These are the infamous ARC funds. They crashed in 2022. Tesla was one of their largest holdings, and that's why it crashed. So ARC's up 6% today because Tesla's a large holding in it. It's up, uh, you know... Pretty huge from the lows, just like Tesla. Look at the portfolio of ARC. You'll see that Tesla is the second or third largest holding. Let's see. That my internet is uh, taking forever here. I apologize. Um, see, Tesla is uh, the third largest holding. Um, do we want to add to this with these holdings in it? Are those holdings quality enough for us to take up precious equity of ours? Um, let's see. Uh, ARK Funds, ARKK. Okay, those were at 50%. I'm not going to add to those. 
How about these at fifty, fifteen hundred dollars versus twelve? That is something. We're up eighteen percent. Let's look at adding that to this art fund. Um, sell open one. We can even go out to twenty. Well, let's see what they're doing for twenty four. They're gonna give us twelve hundred dollars. That's um um ten percent of five thousand is a uh, fifty thousand. Ten percent is five hundred. So they're giving us twenty two percent roughly to do this to sell this put. And let me just see what the twenty fives are fetching. Is it a bigger difference? No, only a hundred dollars to go a year out, a year further out. It's not worth it. Um. We, the less years you go out, the more control you have over it. So we'll do this one. January 24th, 50, 20% gain, sell it open, one ARC funds place. So our cost basis is really 30, 50 minus 1,250 minus 1,200 is 38. So that's our true cost basis, which is pretty low in ARC if you look at a 52-week chart. So that's about all we can do to play Tesla today. We're not, we're not trying to just play Tesla today. We're looking in our entire portfolio and seeing what there is to do before the market close on this Friday. And as I'm going through, I just see Fangu is, you know, uh, uh, pretty huge. And you look into why Fangu is up huge. It's because Tesla is its largest holding, one of its largest holdings. And then you see why the ARC funds are up. And they're up about 6% because Tesla is one of the largest holdings. And so how I didn't want to get rid of all this premium unnecessarily um, in Tesla. And, and I wanted still to have some action in Tesla, but without the risk. So I thought the ARC funds here, which I just sold this put on ARC. Uh, so I had one contract. Now there are two contracts of my ARC funds, 10000 in that. Um, and it, it lowered our margin uh, to 227.8 as a result. I kind of want to close this, the rest of this Tesla put just because we're almost there. We're at 60%, $800. So I can take this and make a clean 500 on Tesla right now. But I still believe in it. And, you know, if the stock falls, I think I'll add uh, one more. Um, contract here at 50 if the stock pulls back in the next few days to let's say from 170 to 150 i'll just sell another put uh at 50 and the odds of it getting there are so low and it just increases our performance in the portfolio as we said in past videos about tesla that's why we have these options to look to gather these exorbitant premiums to knock down our margin which was about 40 to 50k it knocked our margin down by and we use that those proceeds to invest more in these income names while keeping the theme of the of let's say electric vehicles and here we have space themes defend while keeping these themes intact because those are the growth areas in the market and our passive income is the steady area and so that's always going to be slow and steady and how can we get extra performance through these options like we said before so anyway that's what we're doing today we took some profits in fangu raised some equity in the process some precious equity and then we sold a put on arc and that's why our available is back down uh, from 108 uh, 5,000 uh, of arc we just sold that put and those are 30 percent maintenance as well so that didn't it took up some equity but not too much um so we're still comfortably above 100 which i tell you is my comfortable threshold to avoid margin calls when it gets to zero you're at a margin call anyway so I guess this is all we can do. We have the whole world and everything in it from China and Shopify and Tesla to to all these other uh, growth funds. These are specific stocks, though, up here that let's just look at Shopify. I want to make sure this is safe. So $30 put on Shopify. Is it anywhere near $30 Shopify? We're at 50 Okay, so it would have to fall 20 points just to reach 30. And then also I received uh, 500 for doing Shopify. So it would have to fall to 25. Let me make sure my cost basis was accurate in Shopify. Shopify at 30, 
a strike price here we received 475 so let's just round it to five so shopify has to fall to 25 dollars for me to just break even so it has to fall from 50 to 25 for me to lose on this trade so i'm gonna go ahead and leave it up because i don't think that that's gonna happen same for tesla it has to fall from 170 to 50 just for me to break even in fact it has to fall to 42 because 50 minus 8 is 42 that's our true cost basis in tesla you truly eliminate risk in stocks when you sell options like this and you just have to sacrifice the bigger gains for these smaller premiums but 800 dollars, i'll take that premium any any day of the week that's a good gain you just have to sell when the stocks are down and the premiums are more expensive so when stocks are down you sell puts when stocks are up you sell calls anyway all right that's gonna do it for this video I don't want to keep going on and on. Uh, let's check our performance because uh, every video, you never know if this is a new subscriber or a potential new viewer. So who could be loyal to the channel? There we are, 20%. Um, we're beating the market. Uh, Hanley, NASDAQ's up 8. S&P's up 4. We're beating it uh, 20. We're up 20%. We're beating it by 15 basis points. We've had a great start to the year, all because of passive income names. And our estimated income is 95000 per year. This is where we truly make our money is in the dividends. These days, gains are nice, 4500 But we don't care if we're up or down. We just care if we're in line with the market. This is the number we care about, 0. 0.78. As long as that's in line with these numbers, 0. 0.49, 1.44. .4. We're in between the NASDAQ and the S&P. That's what you want. You want to tie your your margin and your dividends to the indexes so there are no surprises so ninety five thousand here we're making in dividends paid monthly so there you go i hope you see uh see the uber order there benihana's is coming and how do we pay for the benihana Pfft, all through this margin and this five hundred thousand purchasing power and these dividends we receive so we're living the financially free lifestyle each and every day and today we we just yeah, every day you take what you're given and today we sold some fangu uh kept the tesla exposure on by selling another put on the arc funds arkk and uh i think we lowered our margin by a couple thousand in the process and raised our equity so we're gonna do one more thing because we raised um all that equity and we lowered our margin by uh, a few grand we're gonna um always take this time to raise our dividends um it's from uh from a little over 95 to hopefully closer to 96,000 years so 227.8 is our margin i like even numbers so let's take the proceeds we we you we got from selling the puts on arc and buy some more jeppy jeppy is a good fund that um, we're not too high up on our cost basis on and i'm trying to get it fill it out to twenty thousand dollar position because it's it has an eleven percent dividend and it follows the uh the indexes, eleven percent monthly dividend eleven point five. So I'm gonna do, let's do, um, twenty two hundred dollars to make the numbers even, on our margin. Um. So twenty two hundred. Uh, let's get one more share in there, forty shares. $2,200 by Jeppy. You know, before I do this, I want you to see how it grows our income. And this is exactly how you, you use your margin to raise your leverage, but also your income. So look at our income. It is 95.2, okay? So let's go add to Jeppy. Okay, trade, trading, stocks, ETFs, buy it. Okay, Jeppy, 11.5% fund, yielding fund, paid monthly. We're going to do 40 shares. We remember that, 40 shares at a market. Okay, 2200 by place. All right, each day, it's not going to grow our income by a ton, but this is how I got my income up in the first place is I gradually would add it each day just a you know a couple hundred dollars so our available withdrawal barely budged from 107 to 1066 and now look at our estimated income it was at 95.2 now it's 95.4 basically 95.5 95.4.79 so you know and that's going to increase our monthly payments from jeppy where's jeppy in here jeppy right here 
the monthly dividend pays one hundred seventy eight dollars. So that's a you know a good cable bill right there, or you know in you know car insurance or something like that. So uh, just wanted to throw that in that we use the proceeds from the ARC funds, uh, the, the selling the option on the ARC funds, and use them to then increase our income by buying more Jeppy. So we love making these kinds of moves every day, playing with our equity numbers and all the levers uh, to maximize um, every dollar we can get out of this account. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.